Sometimes it's easy to look at sports and focus on the scores and the highlights, but it's so much more than that. Sports is more than a scoreboard. It's the stories about people. There's the people that drive us and motivate us. It actually took Coach Summit two tries to reach the four-digit total, but you kind of felt that that was the way that it was supposed to be so that she could celebrate on her own court. You hate to see these two go. Hillman won back-to-back -back championships with the Ice Bears, and Sandberg brought a buzz and an energy to the Smokies we haven't seen in a while, so these two are going to be missed. Here's the guy who comes in with incredible hype and talk, and he manages to get the fans and the team behind him even if the rest of the country didn't always like what he had to say. Singing Rocky Top all night long after we beat Florida next year. Sometimes there's stories we'd rather not hear. The three have been arrested and charged with three counts each of attempted armed robbery. I remember going into the locker room, the girls were so upset they could barely talk. Coach wasn't though, she was kind of frank, saying this would go down as one of the worst teams in Lady Ball history. Emmanuel Negedu survived to tell his story. One did not. It was the single most tragic thing I have ever witnessed. To see a 17-year-old kid collapse on the field and then fight for his life is something that I'll never be able to forget. The whole event reminds us that football is just a game. And then there are the stories that inspire us. Things happen and things come to you. If you choose to look at the bright side, we're going to be fine. The Nick Trail story shows that at its core, sports is more than just gold medals and million dollar contracts. He didn't play a down of football, but in my opinion, is the most inspiring story out of Tennessee's 2009 season. Their stories go beyond just the game, and it's an honor and a privilege to tell them each and every year.